Hi guys, it's Suzanne with Steel City Endurance. I want to give you a quick reason why you should be counting strokes when you swim. A lot of people don't think about it, or if they do think about it, they're only thinking about doing a drill such as DPS, which stands for distance per stroke. And their objective during that time is to see how low they can get their stroke count. A lot of times people don't know how to transition that drill to full stroke swimming. What I want to emphasize is that minimum stroke is not what you're after. What you're after is optimum stroke for your current technique. By tracking it this way, you'll ensure that you don't get sloppy technique impacting your swim. As you get fatigued and your stroke is impacted, it starts to get shorter and shorter, meaning that you're taking more strokes to swim the same length. If the only change you make to your swimming right now is to start counting your strokes per 25 yards, you will improve your swimming because you will have a very early indicator of when your technique is faltering. Right now, I'm not so concerned about what your stroke count is. What I'd like you to do is simply start counting your strokes, see if you can make it a task to hold the same stroke count for an entire set. Try that. Let me know how it goes. Thanks.